What's going on guys, Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Today is an experiment day. This is all for science. We're gonna be taking the VersaFlow from HydroBlue, a hollow fiber filter, very similar to the Sawyer Mini, and we are going to basically torture test this filter. What I've done is I've filled three 32 ounce Sawyer uh, water bags with water, filled them with water, and put a bunch of like muddy dirt just like rocks and hair and like silt and gross things into those bags and we are going to put two of those bags straight through this thing and then we're going to back flush it with 16 ounces of clean water and then we're going to put a third bag of 32 ounce and we're going to see what the flow rate change is like on this and then we're going to uh, cut this thing open with a hacksaw and take a look at the inside of it. Now the reason that I'm doing this is I'm pretty dang sure that this thing froze after I took it on a hike. I left my pack in my car, forgot about it, and I was like, oh, dang it. The hollow fibers probably froze and so I am donating this to science. So let's have at it. So here's what we're going to do. You can obviously see that this is some pretty gnarly, gnarly water. I've got this bowl here that we're going to catch all of this into. And I'm gonna screw the filter right onto the bag. And then let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna to try to push as much water through this as fast as possible. One of the things that I like about the Hydro Blue is it has pretty decent flow rate compared to the Sawyer. So we're gonna push this 32 ounces through this as fast as we can. It's actually coming out pretty dang clear, which is really cool to see. Oh, but it feels like it's getting so like slowed down. Oh man. I'm not even gonna get one bag through this. Maybe I put too much dirt in there. <laughs> You can clearly see that this bag isn't all the way done yet, and there is no way that I'm gonna be able to get another bag through that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. Yeah, check that out. Cause I want you guys to see just how like gross. That's what I'm putting through the filter right now. We're gonna back flush the filter with uh, this clean water. So I'm gonna do the full 16 ounces. It's clearing out pretty good. And I just know that the same thing is gonna happen. But what's cool for me to see is how well this filters out, how dirty and disgusting that water is. There's no, that I'm not gonna get through this bag at all. You can already see how bad that flow rate is. I feel like I'm gonna burst the bag. So, cut this open. Oh, sweet! <laughs> that is what the inside of the Hydro Blue looks like. The hollow fiber. Especially after now it's been, oh gross. Ew. <laughs> All right, so I just cut open the other side just to kind of get a better idea of what this looks like. We're gonna pull this out. Oh, that is so, so, so gross. But I think what's cool is the fact that you can see how gross and dirty those hollow fibers are and how clean that water is comparatively to how much fell in there. And the likelihood of you actually filtering out that uh, dirty of water, that silty of water is uh, pretty unlikely. You're gonna try to like pre-filter it somehow with like a bandana or something, but pretty cool. And just looking at it, when I cut open the Sawyer Mini, the uh, the construction of the Sawyer Mini was basically identical to this. So, pretty 
pretty neat to see that this product basically mirrors that and uh, accomplishes the same, the same concept, the same idea as the Sawyer product. So there you go. Honestly, guys, I've been pretty dang impressed with the Hydro Blue uh, VersaFlow and just its overall performance. I've taken it out on several different trips. And this was a fun experiment, fun thing for me to kind of donate to the filter that I've been using for the past several months and uh, just really see how the function of it is, how well it filters, really, really disgusting gross water, and then cutting it open to see uh, what that looks like and how well uh, it captures all of that silt and everything that it claims to do. So definitely think that the VersaFlow is a worthwhile product and uh, rivals with the Sawyer Mini really well. So definitely check them out and uh, leave your thumbs up, leave your comments, and as always guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hope you have an awesome day.